you think we're doing the kilometers? Wildcat Fever grips Tinseltown and TV Guide's in the thick of things. Hey everyone, I'm Nikki Boyer coming to you from outside USC's Galen Center in Los Angeles. And as you can see, everyone here is going crazy. That's because the High School Musical franchise is finally coming to the big screen. And just a few minutes from now, Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, and Corbin Blue will lead the movie's cast and crew down the red carpet for tonight's big premiere. We have got a big show for you. Vanessa Hudgens opens up about her real-life romance with Zac Efron. He reveals his hobbies. The stars disclose some pretty funny secrets from the set. We go shopping with Casey Stroh and take you on a tour of all the world premieres. But first, my partner in crime, Joel Gordine, is waiting on the red carpet, so let's go to him for a quick preview. Hey, Joel, what's going on? Thanks, Nikki. This is the calm before the storm. Anticipation's building up to tonight's event. You can see that the posters are up, the carpet's been rolled out for all these stars that are going to be making their way down to me. I'm going to chat them up. You're not going to want to go anywhere because you're not going to want to miss it. Back to you, Nikki. Thanks, Joel. Now, this frenzy is no big surprise. After all, check out the mind-boggling numbers on the worldwide phenomenon known as High School Musicals 1 and 2. More than half a billion TV viewers, 20 million DVDs sold, 15 million CDs snapped up, not to mention a book series, concert tour, and a nice show. They're busy. And if advanced sales are any prediction, High School Musical 3 senior year is headed straight to the top. Hey, Troy. So, when's the big game? Uh, yesterday. Oh, well, good luck. The cool kids are back for one last dance in High School Musical 3 senior year. Uh, How did it feel to get to get back together for the movie? It was so exciting. I mean, we literally walked <laughs> in the door and we're just like a screaming <laughs> mess. I don't even think that we hadn't seen each other in years. Yo! Taylor McKessie, will you please be my date to the senior prom? Knowing beforehand that it would be, you know, on the silver screen this time uh, was extra motivation, you know, to really nail all the dances and, and just put everything out there. The third installment of the Disney franchise is a musical extravaganza that promises to wow HSM fans and new audiences, too. Each time they come back, you know, uh, you know, they're more enthusiastic, you know, you know, they're more willing, you know, to go out on a limb. They're, 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 they're ready for more challenges. Dance summers in High School Musical 3 are very elaborate <laughs> compared to last time. But senior year means having to say toodles to Zach, Vanessa, and the rest of the gang. So I guess once they hand us that diploma, we're actually done here. A bittersweet feeling for the close cast who launched the worldwide phenomenon known as High School Musical. Not only are we graduating in the movie, we're graduating from High School Musical. What well, makes you think we're getting diplomas? <sighs> It was crazy, man, putting on the Wildcat graduation robes. It was just really symbolic. I feel like we were graduating in so many different ways. I'm a lot better at saying goodbye than you. Why are you saying goodbye? With the departure of the seniors, there's a new set of swoon-worthy stars roaming the halls of East High. The sophomores played by Matt Prokop, Gemma McKenzie Brown, and Justin Martin. Yeah, dude, we should hang out tonight. We're filming High School Musical 3, and it's going to theaters. Like, how crazy is that? We're just kind of passing the torch. The energetic newbies mixed in with the super cool seniors translates into a rockin' good time on the big screen. You know, I just wanted to make sure it was done right. And when they showed me the scripts, it looked perfect. I couldn't imagine a better way to end uh, the Wildcats High School you know, careers. The boys are back. Now, I've seen the movie, and believe me, the teens and tweens in the audience, they were just going nuts. Anyway, I hear things are starting to get nutty over on the red carpet, so let's go to Joel Gordine for the latest. Joel, what you got? Hi, Nick. I'm here with Monique Coleman. Monique, you look incredible. Thank you. Did you ever think it would get this big? I never, ever could have imagined that it would get this big, that it would be, you know, a global phenomenon. And the only thing I have left is gratitude. I'm just so grateful, so honored, so excited to be here with my closest friends, you know, promoting this movie. It's awesome. Well, have the best time. Thank you. I will. Yeah, I'm here with Alicia Brillant. Alicia, in the movie, you create all the music. What do you do in your spare time? I oil paint. I do a lot of abstract. That's what I do. And I read and have a dog, so I go hiking a lot. I'm kind of 
boring. I yeah, that's not boring. Oh, I just picked up surfing. It is the best thing ever. I love it. When you do the abstract painting, do you just throw the paint against the canvas? I can. I do that. Or I use like a palette knife. Or actually, sometimes I get crazy and actually use a brush. <laughs> yeah. So is it, it's really the horn rim glasses and the beret that makes a girl really cute, right? Oh, really? Well, thank you. Yes, yeah. yes. And it's all about that. It <laughs> is. It's all about that. Well, have a good time. I will. Have the best of times. I will. Thanks. Of course, everybody here is waiting for the man of the hour, Zach Efron. He's 21 years old now, and he is quite the pinup idol of the day. In fact, Troy from High School Musical 3 was just immortalized at Madame Tussauds' world-famous wax museum in London. What is it about this guy that makes him so irresistible to the ladies? How can I get a piece? Take a look. California native Zach Efron became a household name literally overnight. Cool, very cool. Efron was a theater standout in high school, and he didn't even expect to become a teen sensation. Every once in a while, I get a uh, fan that comes up to me on the street. Usually it's like a 11, 12-year-old girl. They're really uninhibited, so it's like you get pure joy. Efron jumped from the stage to the screen in shows like ER, CSI Miami, and Summerland, but it was Disney Channel's made-for-TV movie, High School Musical, in 2006 that changed his life. There's no way to get used to it. This small group of kids, you look at us, and, and really, it's, it was like putting on a, a high school play. And, you know, the magic that, that came out of this group was, was so, you know, above and beyond. There's no denying the cast had chemistry from the get-go, but there was a little extra magic between Zach and co-star Vanessa Hudgens, who have been dating since the first installment. I feel like I'm, I'm just all too lucky. It's really neat. Efron's luck may be more talent than this modest young man would admit. Rumor has it American Idol Simon Cowell offered him a record deal, but Zach turned it down to stay focused on film. My aspirations, you know, I'm lucky enough to be in this business. I love acting. It's really fun. I would love to keep at it. But that's not to say we've heard the last of his vocal abilities. After singing in three high school musicals and playing Link Larkin in the 2007 version of Hairspray, Efron will revive Kevin Bacon's breakout role as Ren McCormick in Footloose, due out in 2010. Yeah, it's great. Um, I'll go see it. Well, I wish him the best. The feeling that you get when you leave the theater, or, you know, when you watch a musical with your family, you're left with this amazing feeling. That feeling is what, you know, Maybe who I am today. Thanks to High School Musical, Zach's racked up a slew of honors, including three Teen Choice Awards. Not bad for a guy who just turned 21. Is this is like the year of Zach Efron. <laughs> you have been on the cover of Rolling Stone, People Magazine, TV Guide. How, how does it feel to be Zach Efron? It's just been fun, man. This is what I love doing. It's hard to believe Zach just celebrated his 21st birthday. We wish him the best, but for now, back to you, Nikki. Thanks, Joel. See you in a little bit. You know, not only is Zac Efron a superstar and a promising actor, he's also turning into a bit of a fashion trendsetter. In fact, you could say that about many of the film stars. They're three of the most photographed stars of today, strutting their stuff on the red carpet events around the globe. For high school musical stars Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, and Ashley Tisdale, the world is their runway, and everyone is watching. With Shutterbugs following their every move, their fashion has to be on point. Both of you are always on the red carpet, and everybody's watching your fashion sense. How would you both describe your own fashion style? Um, I like playing with it all. Uh, I find things that are out of the ordinary and pair it with something that I have in my closet. Um, I like going with themes, you know. I love the 20s. Um, I love the boho chic. And um, I also like the kind of harder, um, edgier, just more funky. So I just kind of like playing with fashion and just having a good time. Fashion for me, I feel it just expresses, you know, how I'm feeling that day. I could be, you know, a beach girl one day to couture chic the next to, to bohemian, you know, it just I feel like clothes are just, like, like Vanessa said, so much fun to play with and it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. While the girls have eclectic taste, HSM's resident hottie Zac Efron takes his fashion cues from old Hollywood. I've always admired, um, like, the classic guys in Hollywood that... They look good at the red carpets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, they, they put on a show. Those moments are for the fans, so we, we should look good when we show up. 